Falcons here to continue our discussion on focusing and paying attention. Last time in the introduction video, I taught you the six apps that can help you to focus and pay attention when you're trying to do an activity or your work. We are gonna talk about the two, the first two apps today, and those were mindful listening and mindful looking. We're gonna use those two of our five senses to do a fun and active activity that will get you away from your devices for a little bit. You can do it outside or you can do it inside, but before we start into that, we have to make sure that we have very relaxed and calm brains and bodies before we start that. So we're gonna do a couple of mindful breaths together. When we breathe mindfully, we take big breaths in and then big breaths out, out slowly. When we do this, I like to use the breathing ball. When we use the breathing ball, when we breathe in, the breathing ball goes big. And when we breathe out, the breathing ball goes small. So we're gonna do five breaths together. And when we breathe in, we, pre we pretend we're smelling our favorite smell. And then when we breathe out, we pretend we're blowing out our birthday candles, making a wish for a peaceful day. Ready to do five breaths? Breathing in slowly. And breathing out slowly. As we breathe in, we smell our favorite smells. And as we breathe out, we blow out our birthday candles, making a wish for a peaceful day. Breathing in, relax, 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 and breathing out. Two more breaths. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, we're going to take a colorful, mindful walk today. And we're, we have a couple of different options that you can use for this. And the first option, I drew the Olympic rings. And this is just any, and you can use any method that you want to, to write down uh, the different colors that you see and the different sounds that you hear. I used the Olympic rings because it was supposed to be the Olympics this year in 2020. However, they have gotten moved to 2021. And what I've done with blue, black, red, yellow, green, I went for a walk around the school and tried to find things that matched those colors. When I found them, I just wrote what I found inside that matching color. And then I listened for sounds. I went around and just listened for different sounds that I heard throughout the school and I wrote those outside of the ring. So that's one option that you can do. Another option, if you like rainbows, like myself, you can do the rainbow colorful walk. You can do an inside one or you can do an outside one. So I'll talk about the inside one first, just like you did with the Olympic rings. You find the things that match the colors of the rainbows and you write those things inside of the rainbow arch. And then you listen for sounds and you write those outside of the rainbow arch. So that's another option. The outdoor option, this really gets more details. What you do is you look for, just like in the inside rainbow walk, you look for the different colors to find the matches and you write those, those things that you've seen that match those colors inside of the arch. But then I've also looked up at the shapes of the clouds and I drew these clouds down here. In one of the clouds, you can write the different shapes of the different things you see up in the sky, the different clouds. And that really takes your imagination. So it strength, strengthens your imagination and creativity muscles in your brain. And then the other cloud, I wrote the, thing, the three things that made me smile outside, which were birds chirping, fresh air, and the azaleas in bloom. And then again, just like on the first two, I wrote the sounds of all the different things I heard outside. So that's another option. You can also do what I call the alphabet scavenger hunt. And what you do, you can do this inside of your houses. You can look for things that match that you, where you find a certain letter. So let's just say that I found a cereal box and it had the word Cheerios on. I can write that for C. There's also a ch, CH, so I can write that for H because there's an H in Cheerios or any other letter you can write that one in. Now try to come up with different things for each letter and try to see if you can get them all. So that's another option as well. And my other two things that you can do to strengthen your eye, your focusing of your eyes and strengthen the, the listening of the ears is to do get that sound or get that picture. So you can make it the sound, so be, you can be in one room and 
someone else in your family could be in another room and make a sound and see if they can guess it without seeing it. You can also, if you have any tablets or if you have a phone, you can take certain pictures of things. So what I did, I went around the school and I took close-up pics of things. And for example, I took a close-up picture of that. And so you show that to someone in your family and see if they can guess it. That is one of the door handles here. And so then I took a picture of the whole door so that they can see that's truly where it came from. So those are just a couple of options that you can do to help strengthen your attention when you're trying to pay attention with your eyes and your ears. And next time we'll go on the next two apps, which is ask questions and answer questions and also participate in the lesson. Everyone have a wonderful day.